Welcome to the Maybe Center here on the campus of Oral Roberts University, Tulsa, Oklahoma, on site of the Class 5A State Championship game featuring the Dell City Eagles and the Tulsa Memorial Chargers. Today we decide the 5A State Championship. Glad to have you on board here on the NFHS Network. High at the top on the camera today is Kel Evans, producing today Craig Flick. My partner, Casey Porter, I'm Chris Evans. Well, Tulsa Memorial, number one, the state of Oklahoma got everything they wanted yesterday yep. from El Reno, but number one is in the final game. Yeah, number one, and and then obviously, you know, the Boone Twins, and then Dell City on the other side. Interesting matchup, Dell City for them. This is gonna be tough because they don't shoot the ball that well. What they rely on is retrieving it off the backboard. Offensive rebounding, they had 14 offensive rebounds yesterday to only four for Northwest class, and that's how they won that game. I don't think that's going to be a situation that they want to rely on this afternoon with the size and the length of the Boone Twins. So I think for Dell City to compete, they're going to have to shoot the ball better. We'll get to the starting lineups here. We'll also show you how each team got here, but first, make sure. Okay, make sure we weren't doing the flags. So I know we did it on the first one. Make sure we weren't doing it here. Here is the starting lineups for the Dell City Eagles. They'll line up as this number three, six foot two senior, Jeff Foreman. Number four is a five foot nine senior, Kobe Higgins. Number 10 to Montreal Crutchfield, six foot two junior guard. Number 22, six foot two junior, Nathaniel Goodlow. And round out to starting five is six foot four junior in the center, number 35, Kyrene Williams. Dell City Eagles are led by head coach Lenny Hatchett, Dell City. He's seen a state championship game yes, or two. He has. Yes. Dell City, victorious day number one against Collinsville, 50 to 25. Yesterday, here in the semifinals, defeated Northwest Classen by a final score of 44 to 41. By the way, congratulations to Northwest Classen and their, their whole regime over there. We followed them closely and done several of the broadcasts and are very fond of all the people at that school system. Buddy Canning, one of our great friends, is an administrator there. So. And now the starting lineups for the Tulsa Memorial Chargers. The lineup is this. Number 15, six foot junior guard, Will Hill. Number 21, six foot seven senior number 21, Keelan Boone. Six foot nine, senior number 22, Caleb Boone. Six, or excuse me, five foot 10, senior number 24, James Alexandre. And number 30, Kayvon Key, six foot three, junior. Boone Boone is what everybody knows around Tulsa Memorial sure. Country. Absolutely, absolutely. But don't sleep on everybody else. Will Hill, obviously a great player in his own right. Yeah, I mean, obviously everything revolves and focuses around the Boone Twins. But having said that, Tulsa Memorial is very capable all across the board. So the starting lines have been introduced. Take a look there at the Dell City Eagles once again. Uh, again, Foreman, Higgins, Crutchfield, Goodlow, and Kyrene. Is that William? I think I left the S off on there, but that is Kyrene Williams on the bottom. So I apologize there on my little typo. Make sure we get that right for him. It is Kyrene Williams. Both teams have been introduced here to the Maybe Center. Three-man officiating crew set to go. We'll get them introduced here as well. Bobby Kelly, Brooke Ferris, and Eric Mohop. Mohop, that's exactly. I remember Mohop yesterday. Congratulations to the game officials as well. Tulsa Memorial, Dale City. We've as seen. expected, will be a very up and down contest. Of course, Lenny Hatchet over there, assistant coach by Tommy Griffin. Tommy Griffin seems like. He's been with 80 different schools. It feels like every time. Good. <laughs> they've all been good. Absolutely, they've He's all been good. He's got a couple of kids that are pretty good players. Yeah, so. good athletes. We're set. Dell City, Tall Memorial, Class 5A State Championship, and we're underway. Dell City will win the top tip. And we'll go left to right on your screen, and well, here comes the pressure already. <laughs> it's going to stay with Dell City, and we'll, we'll get this out here real quick. These are two programs spent many, many years in 6A. Yep. Now enjoying their days here in 5A. 5A has always been a great class for basketball. Lots of athletic ability. Watch out. Here we go. Chargers looking for the first bucket. 
Can't get it here, but there is a foul. We got two free throws upcoming. The energy level for Tulsa Memorial and a belief system in how good you are is just really off the charts. Alexandre to the free throw line. He wears jersey number 24. They carry themselves kind of like some of those old Booker T teams that had Eton Thomas and those kids like, hey, we're good. We know it. We're going to strut it. We're going to show it and do something about it if you don't like it, right? Alexandre scoreless yesterday, but gets the very first point of the championship game today, early 1-0 lead. We'll see some more Booker T. Washington a little bit later on today as a prime example. They carry themselves quite well. <laughs> Down low, big guy against the boom, and we have a traveling violation. Trying to make the move down low. Caleb being boom so long that you have to set yourself up so well that, that you risk having a turnover like that because you're having to make two or three different moves just to get the ball over. Williams with the travel violation sets up the Chargers here offensively underneath. Shot up is good. First two points for Keela Boone. Well, who do you, I mean, well, who do you guard? <laughs> <laughs> you you want to double somebody, but you, it just leaves you one-on-one -on -one with everybody, and they're just so long and so athletic. It's just hard to hard to defense. Dell City in the Dell City better score. They better keep up offensively or it's going to get ugly for them. They're in the black jerseys today, obviously. Memorial in the white jerseys. Across the way to the hoop. Blocked at the rim. Good move to get to the rim there by Foreman, but blocked at the rim. That's a pretty good play right there. High octane play. There's a turnover by the Chargers. Here come the Eagles. Two on one. To the hoop. Draws a foul on Keelan Boone. Into the free throw line will go Jeff Foreman. He said Dell City, they don't shoot the ball very well. They rely on a lot of offensive rebounding, trying to get to the rim. Transition offense. Yes, transition, trying, trying to create offense through your defense. Those are all the things that you would imagine Tulsa Memorial are aware of and are looking to stay away from. Foreman trying to get the Eagles on the scoreboard for the first time here today. Front rim and no good. Dell City Eagles again led by head coach Lenny Hatchett. Assistant coaches Tommy Griffin, Mike Winter, Quincy Hawkins, Dalton Newsom. Free throw up is good. Eagles are on the board. Cuts that Charger lead down to two. Tommy Griffin does not look nervous on the bench. <laughs> <laughs> Great observation. <laughs> Great observation. Boone throws it away. And uh, quickly, James Alexandre lets him go, yeah, that's my bad. I'm supposed to be right there, right where you threw the ball. Got the things Adele City's going to need is yeah. for Tulsa Memorial maybe to be a little too overconfident, trying to show off maybe a little bit early to intimidate Dell City. Dell City will not be intimidated. No, I don't they, think they will be. They, you know? They've seen some athletes in their day. They, they know what it looks like. Trying to make a move there. Higgins, nicely stopped. Oh, that's a foul. Big time. That would be a flagrant, what is it, flagrant two in a college setting? Two's the ejection. Yeah, that would have been close because that, I mean, that was a just a straight shove. It would have definitely been a flagrant one. I watched the ball. I did not see. I saw yeah, body, it was, I saw it was, body go flying. It, it could have been a technical easily. Officials obviously don't want to get involved no, right, too early right. on. And, Make the right decision there. I Baseline agree. penetration by Foreman cut off. There's going to be a lot of penetration. There's going to be a lot of things cut off here today. Yeah, I good think so. defense, offensive teams. Here's a three point shot. It's no good for Goodlow. Rebounded by the Chargers, and here we go. Can't settle for outside shots if you're Dell City. There's a near steal, and they do get it. And the ball, we have a trip, a foul on the Chargers. I think Will Hills, when we call for the foul, really not his fault. Does commit the foul, but it was just bad place, wrong time. Caleb Boone. You have to touch the basketball. That has to change if you're Tulsa Memorial. 524, 523, low scoring game so far. A free throw, two couple free throws and a bucket's all we can get between both teams. That shot blocked. There's gonna be a lot of that today as no, well. No sir. <laughs> yeah. You got a couple yeah. options in there be to block those. A little more those. creative than that if you're gonna try to get it over Caleb Boone. Three-point shot. There it is. Here we go. Keelan Boone. 
6'7", senior, O-State commit. He's watching him in warm-ups. Very pure shot. You can tell he's also a perfectionist. He takes a lot of shots. 6-1 charge lead. Boone got beat on the back cut there, but there's help. I mean, you make a great yeah. move, and then you're, you know, you're open for a brief second, and it quickly collapses. And all that does, it means Memorial can just pressure the ball that much more because they're not worried about getting beat. Ball out of bounds. It will go to Dell City. Now, if your name is not Caleb or, or Keelan Boone, and you have the ball, and you just got the ball across half court, and you're shooting a fadeaway, 26 footer. <laughs> That's not exactly what's drawn up in the game plan. I would not think. Kevin Key, we're talking about. Backdoor cut. Unable to hold on to it. It's kicked out of bounds. Charger basketball. Chargers, will, or excuse me, Eagles will pick up full court. Tulsa Memorial coach struck gold, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he was so emotional after yeah. yesterday's victory. He, <laughs> he goes, this is not my greatest moment, but it was one of a, it was a very <laughs> cool moment. He was overcome with emotion after that victory yesterday. It came with two seconds left in the game. There's a three-point shot. Good-looking shot right in front of us for the Dell City Eagles, Montre Crutchfield. Those are the kind of things, those turnarounds turn over. Offense after defense, and here we go again. This is what Dell City needs. They love the runs at a double dribble. Yeah. Dell City says, no, not. It was tipped. Shouldn't be a double dribble. Coach Hatchett might have a little bit of an argument here. Yeah. You're trying to play Tulsa Memorial, which is hard. <laughs> if that gets called a double dribble, the only advice I have for Dell City is good luck, right? It's just, you, need, you just need almost everything to go yeah. your way. <laughs> you have a two-on-one break, and it stops there, and we have a whistle. Things usually seem to even out throughout a contest, and yeah, they do. the Chargers will bring in Brooke Ferris, the official on that side. We've seen her many, many times, and she is an outstanding Absolutely. official. Well, a championship yes. referee. Keila Boone checks into the lineup. We mentioned it several times, but this means as much to the officials as it does anybody here. Very, Absolutely. very prestigious. Boone on the baseline, and we have a hold, a foul. Chargers will inbound the basketball. Dawson Memorial, three team fouls. Dell City, also three team fouls. Hilled in, down the basketball. Gets it in the boom. Wanted to catch and shoot. He'll pop up for three. That's no good. And it's rebounded by Crutchfield. Caleb Boone yet to take a shot. That surprises me. Good load loses it, but it falls in the hands of Crutchfield. Oh. And he'll hit his second three-point shot. He has six points. And the Eagles have their first lead of the game, 7-6. Uh, after... A day yesterday where Dell City did not shoot the ball very well. They come out red hot. Here's more. Eagles turn over. Layup. Good. 9-6 ball game. Eagles on top with the layup is Higgins. You sense a nonchalant from Tulsa Memorial as if they think they can just show up. And because they're this good, just show up and win. And that is not the case. Dell City is battle tested. Boone for three in the corner. He likes that spot and shows why. <laughs> you have all the momentum. You get a guy take the shot you want him to take, and he just rises up and hits it. Man, kid's smooth, isn't he? Yeah, when he took it, I go, yeah, that's going oh, in. Yeah. <laughs> that's well, going he knew in. it, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good low. Underneath, shot blocked. Boone got it. Who? Keelan Boone. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll get more descriptive here in a second. Shot foul. Free throws upcoming. Well, We've almost played six minutes. Pretty entertaining ball game so far. Nine-nine so nine contest. So far. Dell City not backing down. Entertaining. I don't know how how high quality of the plays actually been because it's been so frantic, but it has been very entertaining. All this action, both teams have nine points. Free throw up. It's no good. Del or, uh, Tulsa Memorial not hitting free throws like they need to. If it wasn't for Keelan Boone and his two three-pointers, they'd be on the ropes right now. Keelan Boone exit stage left for a brief moment here. Gets a beverage. <laughs> I was just thinking, how slow would I be out there right now <laughs> if I was with <laughs> any of those guys? I, mean, well, it, I, I would Christmas. feel like I'm going fast, <laughs> but to everybody watching, it would look like I'm not. How's that sound? <laughs> 
Memorial with the free throw and a one point lead, 10 9. Pretty entertaining. It, it's like they're a fast forward. Yeah. Dell City's always been have, so Have we seen an offensive set ran yet? Get to the hoop like that. Yep. Wow. Well, wave it oh, off. Whoa. Next couple levels away from that one. Yeah. Couple no levels continuation away. in yeah. high school. Yeah. They started giving the continuation in college a couple years ago. A little more. Unofficially. Yeah. Bounce pass into good low. Entries it down low. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you draw the foul. There was no intention to actually making the shot when. I mean, we, we, you know, you bring on the Boons, but uh -huh. I mean, you look at number 12, Brad, Rayshon Finch in there. Yeah. I mean, he's 6'4. You look at Kevon Key, uh -huh. he's 6'3. The problem with having that length, a lot of times you don't work as hard as you should because you're so used to getting away with not having to work because you can block shots. You're taller than everybody, you have more length. And then when you get against a team like Dell City that knows how to outposition you, then it becomes a major factor. Jack Foreman makes the first free throw, checking in the lineup a few moments ago. Jack Foreman, 6'2", senior. He'll get one more free throw. Trying to give his teammates the lead. Free throw up. It's good. 11-10. The longer you leave a team like Dell City around in the game, the more they start to believe, correct? Whoa, more pressure foul. here. Quickly into the front court, Drew Brunson checked in the lineup. Boom, shot blocked. That'll get the Dell City fans going. And a jump ball for Session Arrow. We'll keep it with Tulsa Memorial. Been here three days, and I just now realized the Possession Arrow on the actual yeah, scoreboard. That was the first thing I noticed, because <laughs> on these new fancy scoreboards, I can't find anything on them anymore. And this one's simple enough to where you can see it all. And I look across the score table, but if you're at home watching, yeah. it's right there on your yeah, screen. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> How easy is that? Mr. Craig Fleck on all those controls. Will Hill in down the basketball. Long pass in. Some athletic ability on that court, isn't there? Brunson to the hoop. Nice pass, lays it in, does Caleb Boone. First points for him, am I correct on that? I do believe. That is his yeah. first two, indeed. Now he's coming up on 90 seconds to play. Memorial with a lead change, three point, another lead change? Nope, not this time. Let's rebound it in the hands of Caleb Boone. Here come the Chargers. Think we'll see zone defense here today? Hmm. Three point shot, no, rebound, Boone, put back, yes. How do you stop that? I mean, he's just six inches longer than you are. He doesn't have position, but he just reaches over the top of you and puts it back in. When you feel like you're playing as well as you can, you feel like everything's gone your way, you're down three. That's just kind of how it goes. Higgins drove in. Now here's a three-point shot to tie it. Oh. Yes, sir. Oh. Big shot there, 15, Keandre Young. Quickly the other way, the Chargers. Dump it off, yeah, off the hands of Boone, turnover. I don't know if you heard me. Think we'll see some defense today by either of these teams? I'm wondering if we're going to see an offensive set. <laughs> I think high pick and roll is about the closest we're going to get to an offensive set. And I say that meaning that there's just simply two good athletes on the court. To You're like, you're you going to get in the way of all this? Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Was on a foul. Toss Memorial commits their sixth team foul. They'll save with 14 fouls. Not a whole lot of foul trouble on the floor right now, although Del City's Kobe Higgins does have two personal fouls. Everybody else, I think, with one. A couple substitutions here. Toss Memorial just got a little bit taller, yeah. if that was possible. Julian wow. Cockrell Look checks at in. The front line of this team. Good grief. <laughs> You look at towns like Chickasha, oh, yeah. Guthrie, Enid, Bartlesville, they get one every oh, 30 yeah. years, <laughs> maybe. Not like the, even like this, <laughs> though. I mean, goodness. <laughs> yeah. It's so fun to watch these athletic teams play. 
Hill said he's spreading out a little bit. Shot no, but going to the free throw line, Nathaniel Goodlow. Goodlow, good athlete. He had a good game yesterday in that victory over Northwest Class. And Goodlow, 16 points for a team high, played all 32 minutes. He was one for one from the free throw line yesterday. As he goes back to the line, that free throw is good. We able to visit with him after the game yesterday as well, after that victory over Classen. Gives his team a one-point lead, 15-14, trying to add to it. 3.3 seconds to play in the first. Sixteen fourteen advantage. Boy, this has been Shot a major success for Dell City. If it goes, does not. And the quarter comes to an end. Dell City 16, Tulsa Memorial 14. Come back with second quarter action. This is the Class 5A State Championship on the NFHS Network. Navy Center, Class 5A State Championship. Oral Roberts University is where we're at here in beautiful Tulsa, Oklahoma. Dell City leads Tulsa Memorial 16-14. Five lead changes there in that first quarter. Very entertaining first quarter. Dell City 40% from the field, 4 of 10 shooting. Tulsa Memorial 55%, a little bit better there. 5 of 9 shooting. Four turnovers for Dell City. Seven turnovers for Tulsa Memorial, second quarter now underway. Dell City with the basketball. Well, you ask and you shall receive a zone defense for Tulsa Memorial. <laughs> you like getting inside, yeah, right? Yeah, the Syracuse effect. Yeah. When you're that long and you can extend it out to 30 feet from the bucket because you're that long, how do you get a shot off? Dell City's holding the basketball like, um, if you're going to do <laughs> this, we're going to kill the clock. Dell City's like, what are we going to make him get out of it? Well, what a great job of coaching and recognizing. Now they're going to try to trap out of that, which is going to open up the middle of this zone. But when you're that long, there's the middle. When you're that long, again, doesn't matter. And you know what, Del City, it's like they don't know anybody. They just go in and they go, you know what, we're going to test you. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep coming after you. And it results on this drive mm -hmm. here as they will go to the free throw line. It'll be Jeff Foreman going there. They play like pit bulls. Yeah. 